Hey guys, Josie in Chicago here. Just wanted to show you a couple of things that sold for us in the first uh, two weeks here in November. Um, yeah, about the first two weeks in November. We're going to just run through a couple of the things that we bought here and let you know what we sold them for. We are running a sale. It was up to 10% off off of all of our reading glasses. We only paid about a dollar fifty, a dollar seventy-five per reading glasses, and we wanted to do a couple quick sales on eBay. So we figured we just run a um, a sale on them because we do have over two hundred pairs of uh, reading glasses, or at least that's what we bought. We ended up with about two hundred and twenty of them, but uh, we sold you a good amount of them, and we're just trying to make some room in the office there so we could get some other stuff in from liquidation. But we sold this pair here for five dollars and thirty cents, as you can see, and again, it only cost us about a dollar fifty per pair. So we're making about a dollar profit after fees and everything off of this one. And again, it's just stuff that we're blasting out of the office so we can make room uh, for more stuff to come in. So let's keep going. All right, this perfume here I actually got from my sister. She ended up buying or getting six or seven of these bombshell perfumes. Um, had them sit them, I had them sit for a while, and then I put them up for a listing. I think I had six all together. I'm down to one more bottle, but I got this for free because my sister was cleaning out her closet, found them, and gave them to me. So seven dollars and eighty-seven cents, and it cost about two dollars to ship. Uh, so we made about three dollar profit off of this one after shipping and fees. Alright, if you're checking out our other playlist, uh, check out the Diving for Dollars, which is when me and Sammy go dumpster diving at different stores. And this just happens to be one of the items that we picked up off of one of the stores. It was a Stargate SG-1 uh, TV DVD. Uh, used, of course, but they were all in good shape. And this is a terrible picture, um, as you can see really dark I should have put more light on this but even like this it sold for four dollars and forty one cents and cost about two dollars to ship uh, so we made about a dollar profit off of this one all right here goes another pair of those foster grant glasses it was part of that ten percent sale we we're going on so this for five dollars and thirty cents again this was part of a liquidation lot that I ended up picking up uh, so this cost about a dollar and fifty cents, and after fees and everything else, made about two dollar profit on this one. And these pictures were a lot better, as you can see, uh, showing the frames on both sides, and then the front. All of these glasses came with the tags, and usually they come also with a carrying case, which was a plus. So we're just blasting these out uh, again, just to make room in the office. All right, this was part of another liquidation lot that we picked up. We ended up with like 20 brand new massage wands and 24 that were brand new, but the boxes were open. Um, so we paid a dollar <throat> for each of these, and we're blasting them out. We tried the volume listing. So if you bought one, it was 7.15. If you bought two, it was 6.79. Uh, this person ended up buying one, so he paid $7.15 with free shipping. These things don't weigh anything, so I just took that brown paper that you can buy and I wrapped it up in the same exact box. Ended up weighing like 5 ounces or something. Uh, so it cost $2.66 to ship. So after fees and everything, we made about $3 profit on this one. All right, this was a spell force uh, game for your computer. I uh, got these on a blowout through one of my distributions that I go to. Uh, picked this up for ten cents, and we sold it for eight dollars and ninety-five cents with free shipping. Uh, so after fees and everything, we made about five dollar profit on this one. And if you notice, a lot of my profits are five dollars, three dollars, two dollars, one dollars. These are bread and butter items that I like to call. So when you when you have I mean when you hear one or two dollar three dollar profit it doesn't sound like a lot but when you're doing a high volume of them which is what we do then it adds up pretty quickly where you can make you know we're doing this super part time and if we can make an extra two three hundred dollars a week just doing this um, you know that's over a thousand dollars a month after fees and everything so it adds up pretty quickly for doing something part time and 
just put these up for a listing and then what I do is that I just hit that little box that says automatically relist up to eight times so that's eight months in a row it just keeps automatically listing uh, on its own which is fine with me and then stuff uh, tends to sell pretty quickly that way I took really nice pictures that I actually got off the internet of the game in motion here uh, so this sold pretty quickly so I was happy with this five dollar profit sale all right, this little Black Panther a Metal Diecast Marvel. I picked this up at Target on clearance for $1. I uh, ended up picking up two, three of these. Sold two of them already. And uh, sold them for $9.89 with free shipping. Uh, these things don't weigh anything either, so it's about $1.86 for shipping. And a uh, dollar into it that I paid, so like at two eighty six. So after fees and everything else, this is like a five dollar profit right here. And the pictures were pretty nice on this one. I show the pictures of just the close up and back, the back of it there. These were kinda cool. And again I picked this up at Target on the clearance rack for only a dollar. So that's not bad. Now this was the big hit for the month of November so far. Again, if you watch our, our diving for dollars in which we're dumpster diving with myself and my daughter Sammy, um, you'll see that we actually found all of these PS2 games along with the console and the controller. And this was a terrible picture. But um, there's the controller and the console and all the games that we found. We ended up finding about 60. There's a better picture there. We ended up finding around 62 games or so, and um, I had reached out to my Facebook group and asked, you know, I, I was putting them in bundles, all football games, all uh, hockey games, and um, then one of the guys suggested that because the PS2 is an old system, instead of trying to break it apart like that, I just put it all together as a bundle and sell it. So I took his, his advice. I had it for 125 with 1895 shipping. Uh, then I put it on sale for 10% off, uh, again, on his advice, and it sold within two days. Um, so this cost us absolutely nothing. Uh, it cost us exactly $18 to ship uh, with the whole bundle all together, uh, another $10 in fees. So after shipping and fees, we walked away with $100 in profit. Uh, you cannot beat dumpster diving. You cannot beat when you can find something for free and flip it on eBay. Uh, we did check the games. All the games were working. The PS2 was working. The controller was working just fine. I actually had an extra controller that I threw on here. It also came with an 8 megabyte um, memory stick, which a uh, memory card, which we also sent with the package. So. Uh, the guy received it, uh, he was happy with the game, so it gave us a good review. So, uh, again, dumpster diving does pay off, and this is proof of it. This was a $100 profit item. So, you can imagine Samantha was very happy, considering that she gets part of this, uh, <laughs> part of this profit here. Alright, again, this is just another item that we picked up off of our dumpster dives. This is uh, another Stargate. Uh, series that they had here for 355 after fees and everything we made about a dollar profit but we had no money into this whatsoever again this was another dumpster dive find that was working we ended up finding maybe 15 of these Stargate DVDs just different seasons different series uh, and we sold a lot of them I'm surprised how much they're selling but we have no money into this so if I make a dollar off of it that's fine I can uh, sell it and get it off my shelf. So we're happy with the sale. All right, Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels. Gotta love the Hot Wheels. Uh, Hot Wheels cost 99 cents. And if you can find any of them that's got this 50th anniversary or it's all black instead of blue, uh, those are worth a lot more. There are collectors that will pick these things up. One thing to keep in mind if you're going to be selling Hot Wheels on eBay or Amazon is that they usually go to collectors. So you have to make sure that all of the corners are in good shape because that is what they're looking for. Nothing is bent up anywhere here because that's very important to them. Of course, this cannot be smooshed in either. So make sure that looks good. And if you can do that, then they sell pretty good. I only had a dollar. Actually, I paid 50 cents for this one. 
because it was they were having a sale I think at Walgreens it was like buy one get one half price and you can find Hot Wheels everywhere from Walgreens to Jewels to Myers Walmart uh, even Family Dollar has them um, so just look around and see scan them on your eBay app and see if they're worth it uh, this was a dollar uh, and I sent it out for a dollar. I didn't have no tracking on this one, so I made about a dollar a dollar profit off of this one. All right, here goes Transformers. Transformers more than meets the eye. I bought these two lunch pails um, at the Dollar Tree, and they were a dollar each, so I had a two dollars into it, and I sold them as a pair for eleven dollars and sixty-five cents with free shipping. Uh, they're nice looking little lunch bags. Uh, they're just little tin cans for the kids to put their, their lunches in there. Uh, very nice. And the person was very happy with it. I wrapped it up real nice, put it in a nice eBay box, and off it went for $2.66. So I had about $4 into it all together with shipping. After fees and everything, we made about 5 or $6 in profit. So again, not bad. You can check out your Dollar Tree, Dollar General, General Dollar, Family Dollar. You'd be surprised what you can find in there for only a dollar and flip it for t close to twelve dollars. All right, here goes another pair of those reading glasses. Again, we only have a dollar fifty into these glasses. I sold this pair here for twelve dollars and ninety-five cents with free shipping. Cost two sixty-six to ship these things out. I just stick, uh, actually what I'm doing with these glasses, I'm wrapping them up in bubble wrap, then I'm putting cardboard around it. Then I'm sticking that in a regular uh, uh, bubble wrap envelope, and everything weighs under five ounces. Once you do all that, uh, it goes nice and secure. I haven't had any issues whatsoever doing it that way, and um, they ship for about two dollars and sixty-six cents, and my dollar fifty into it, so about four dollars into it after fees and everything. This is like a eight dollar profit. All right, here goes another one. Zebra pair reading glasses. Uh, sold this for four dollars and forty-one cents, and again shipped it out. And after fees and everything, made about a dollar profit off of this one. Uh, so they range. Sometimes I make a dollar off of these things. Sometimes I make ten dollars off of them. Sometimes I make eight dollars off of one pair. So the, it depends on what which type of glasses they're picking up. Um, these easy readers go for a little less. The Foster Grants go for a lot more. So it would all depend. I, I saw the Foster Grant that was, um, it had the the ticket on it and it came with a case. It had a value of $35. I sold it for $24.95. So uh, it would depend on which pair of glasses. I have a lot of Foster Grant and a very small handful of these easy write, uh, reader glasses. But um, either way, it's all profit. So I made about a dollar profit after selling this pair. And the lady was, uh, very excited for them. She sent me a great review um, saying they were exactly what she was looking for. She loved the zebra pattern, so that was good to get that good feedback. Alright, here goes the Snaggletooth. Uh, this was a Halloween mask. We actually found this at Party City. No, it was uh, not Party City. It was uh, Spirit Halloween, which is one of those pop-up stores that pop up around Halloween. Ended up finding um, of this one, I think it was maybe seven of them, and then we found two other different styles. So all together, was about 24 masks, all with the, the tags and everything, just like you see here. Uh, the tag was on there and everything. A uh, scary looking mask, but we, we sold three of these online, and we had a yard sale right before Halloween, so it was another like five or six to the kids coming by of this one so I think we're done with Snaggletooth. I might have one more um, but I think that's it for him and then the other ones I might have two or three of the other ones but we, we sold out most of our mask already but again we got these for free stuck it on the eBay box shipped it out for 266 and it was free because it was one of our dumpster dive finds uh, so after fees and everything made about a five dollar profit all right, guys, and this is the last one for today. This is a uh, another one of our dumpster finds from um, the game lot that we go to. They had a whole bunch of movies at one time, so we picked up this movie that was in the dumpster. Uh, it was working. It was actually a good movie. I watched it before I sold it. Uh, this was for free. 
sold it for three dollars and fifteen cents with free shipping so after shipping and everything this cost us about um it cost, I'm, I'm sorry the profit was about one dollar profit off of this movie all right guys that's it for this uh what sold in november so far hope you guys are having a great november uh, please remember to hit that subscribe button underneath and give us a share. Go ahead and leave a comment as well. Let us know if you're doing any type of dumpster diving. Uh, we'll be interested to know what you guys find in there as well as how your sales are going on eBay. Uh, we have been going dumpster diving. I have a, a video I have to put together from the Dollar Tree and I think PetSmart was the other place. Uh, in Chicago, the temperature has dropped and today was our first snow day today. Today is November 9th, so we're not going to be doing any type of dumpster diving for a couple of days because we usually don't dive when it rains or it snows because everything just gets ruined anyway. And then it's just freezing cold out, so we're going to bypass that. On top of that, it was my birthday two days ago on lucky number 7, November 7th, so today's Friday. I'm going to go hang out with the in-laws for a little bit, and then we have some birthday plans this weekend for myself so I'll be busy at least in Saturday and Sunday if the weather breaks maybe I'll go in the morning and do some dumpster diving uh, on my own because Sammy will be with the in-laws for the weekend uh, but until then uh, have a great weekend keep listing on eBay Amazon Poshmark Macari Facebook um, you know offer up wherever you guys find that you can sell the stuff faster then go ahead and list it there and until next time, um, have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.